Okay, we have uh, averages going on. We have a lot of averages because there's 100 measurements. And these 100 measurements have an average of 23. Then there's 50 additional measurements, different ones. These are additional. And these are average 27. They want to know if you take the average of both of these, is it going to be greater than or equal to or less than column B, which is 25. So they're comparing those two, the average of these 150 measurements. So you may think, oh, I need the calculator. But that's fine because it's the new GRE, and I can just add them together, divide, and find my average. You can, but you don't need to do that. There's a much faster, easier, intuitive way to do it. Well, think of it this way. For the answer to be 25, you would need an equal number of this measurement and this measurement. Why? Well, if there are 100 measurements that balance out to 23, let's put a little scale here, 27, smack dab in the middle is 25. So if you have 100 of these at 23, to make sure we end up at 25, you'd want 100 that average 27. If there's an imbalance, if there's only 50 here, you can think of it as a scale. There's more on this side, so there's a little scale. And now 100 weighs it down in favor of 23, so the average is going to be less than 25. We don't know exactly what. We can figure it out, but for this problem, you don't have to. All you know is that there's 50 on this side, 100 on this side. Answer choice A, the average of these 150 is going to be less than 25, so the answer is B.